When I say Cottonmouth King, you say fired up, New York. Cottonmouth King! What Cottonmouth King? Yo, you got the joint, I got the joint. Yo, who got the joint? We all got the joint. We all on point. We all on point. Yo, you got the joint, I got the joint. Yeah, well, this is right when this is right when High Society had dropped. We came out here to play the uh, what was it called? The, the uh, Stony Award. Stony Award. Doobie Award. Yeah. I was actually born on the East Coast in New York, but my family moved out to California when I was in elementary school. Pretty much just as I grew up and got older in the Southern California lifestyle, I was listening to a lot of hardcore punk and hip hop at the time. Wound up, me and Lou started a band called Doggy Style back in the days, a punk rock band, and did that for some years. So right out, like senior year in high school, we just started touring the country in a van, and you know, just kind of, uh, you know, just doing it. We were having a a set basically a session and, and the, you know getting high in his bus and i and richter was super quiet at the time all of a sudden the radio song the radio's playing and he's rapping every word to the to the uh, songs that are coming on i said dude i didn't know you could rap he's all i don't know if i could rap or not but he's rapping every word word for word and i'm like and then he's singing classic rock songs he's like actually singing in perfect note and harmony i'm like dude we should start a band you know and pretty much that's how we started the band we put out our first record. I, I formed Suburban Noise Records to put the Cottonmouth King records out because I know that we did want to be self-empowered and in control of our own destiny. And that's 10 years ago, you know, we're still putting out records. We just put released Coast to Coast, which is the eighth full length to date. We've been touring the country, seeing the world for the last 10 years. It's been an amazing experience. And uh, every city we go in is, you know, sell out venues coast to coast and just people are committed to the cause, you know, personal freedom and questioning the world around them and trying to find, you know, find some answers that make sense to them. Maybe some of your favorite bands don't put out records once every three years or two, three, four years sometimes, but basically, Cottonmouth Kings puts out an album a year. It's a constant growing, living, breathing thing, you know, and I think people, you know, we come to their city sometimes two, three times a year, Cottonmouth Kings is in the city, so it's tangible, it's real, the people know it's real. The first time I can remember getting high, I don't know if this is actually the first time that I got high, was the first time I remember smoking weed. <clears throat> I was uh, in an apartment in uh, in Tustin, California, and there was a lightning storm, and it, it broke the generator out or the deal, so there was no lights, there was candles, I was burning some chocolate tide. I don't know, a long time ago, I can't even tell you the date, because I don't remember, but I remember the day we were actually going to my sister, hanging out for the weekend. I went over there and it was kind of short and sweet. We went over my sister and got high at my sister and then having a pretty fun day. It was cool. It was my time getting high. I met the first time I, was, I got high was uh, on a camping trip <coughs> and we had, uh, smoked herb that night around the fire and I was high. For I woke up the next morning still high for the next day. You know that first high you ever get? Where you could actually hear the you know squirrels talking to each other in the trees. So. <laughs> At a barbecue with my sister's boyfriend, probably like 12 years old. Smoked a joint, didn't really do shit to me. Second or third time, I think I actually got high. Um, but yeah, the guy's like actually a cop now, so it's kind of funny. My first time getting high was at a family function, a luau. Yeah. 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 At the driving, orange driving. Opening night, Cheech and Chong's up in smoke. One of the things is, of course, like self empowerment. You know, what I mean, for anything to exist, it's got to have a stability and a foundation. Like High Times Magazine, you guys promote a great cause and awareness, but there's a bottom line where it's also you. You got a lot of employees and mouths to feed. And you guys got to keep the doors open. The same thing with us. You know, what I mean, so it's so we have a clothing company. I just encourage anybody to be self empowered. You know, whether you're a construction worker contractor, painter, whatever you do, you know, try to be in control of your destiny is, you know, create your own reality.